Uh, now I'd like to uh, introduce Tom Nally. Tom is responsible for all of the business functions at TD Ameritrade Institutional. Uh, that is the business unit supporting independent registered investment advisors. Uh, he's been leading the charge. And Tom, I think one of the things that people should know, we, we value your participation in the center, but these aren't new issues for TD Institutional. You've been working with colleges and universities, helping your RIA custodial clients address these workforce development issues. We're grateful to the support you've given us. We look forward to hearing from you, and we're pleased to have you as our lead founding partner. Thanks, Thank Kevin. All right, hear me? All right, good morning, everybody. I'd like to start by thanking the CFP board for taking on this incredibly important initiative. You know, we all know that the challenges facing the financial planning profession and the challenges that American families face seeking trusted adv financial advice are bigger than any one company or any organization can address alone. And we're proud to join the CFP board as the lead founding sponsor of the Center for Financial Planning. As Kevin stated, TD Ameritrade Institutional has had a long-standing commitment to fostering the next generation of financial planners, and we're excited to be part of this historic undertaking. You know, today, our industry really is at an inflection point. We're facing a serious talent shortage, and I'm gonna cover a lot of the same things that Kevin talked about, but this is important stuff. Financial advisor jobs are actually expected to grow by 27% by the year 2022, which is actually three times the national average of other careers, because there's so much demand out there for advice. But right now, only 6% of advisors are actually under the age of 30. And as Kevin stated, there are more CFPs over the age of 70 than there are under the age of 30. Add to that, over the next decade, one third of all advisors intend to retire. So the center will really be a critical resource as we work together to attract new talent and meet the increasing demand for trusted advice. Now, as Kevin mentioned, increasing diversity in our industry will also be really important to meeting the needs of investors. Financial planners need to be prepared to serve an increasingly diverse client base. The fact is, demographics are shifting. America doesn't look the same today as it did yesterday. 85% of the population growth over the next 10 years will come from minority and ethnic groups. Now today, the millennials not only are the largest population and outnumber boomers, but they're far more diverse. So if we're going to be successful, we as an industry must foster diversity and inclusion within our own ranks by reaching out to a broader talent pool that better reflects the demographics of the next generation. It's critical that we come together on these issues to fuel the growth and attract the talent we need in the financial planning industry. Now, one of the key challenges that we do face in broadening that talent pool is perception. Financial services continues to be one of the least trusted industries by consumers. I don't want to necessarily be Debbie Downer here, but these are the facts. Unfortunately, it actually ranks last. Believe it or not, consumers believe that financial services companies are less likely to do the right thing than chemical companies. Chemicals actually ranks four slots higher than us, and we're all grouped together in that same group. Now, this level of mistrust may prevent a young person from considering a career in financial planning. But what we also need to do is address the misperceptions about what a planner does and raise awareness about what an incredibly rewarding career it can be. It's about relationships, communication, and helping people achieve their dreams. It's not just about sales and investment management. 
and through the Center for Financial Planning, we can open a new generation of minds to financial planning and show them that they can have a career that is both personally and financially fulfilling. The CFP board is not only uniquely positioned to unify the industry, but its commitment to excellence, education, and ethics adds the high level of credibility that's needed to drive real change. We recognize the CFP mark as the industry's highest distinction, and we're proud to be a part of the effort to develop the next generation of financial planners providing them with the knowledge and the skills that they need to effectively and ethically serve the public. For our part, TD Ameritrade is making a multi-year, multi-million dollar commitment to help foster the next generation of financial planners, improve the diversity in our industry, and support faculty and education programs so that we can drive this industry forward and so that we may better serve the needs of American families. We know that the work that we start here today will be critical to the success, the health, and the sustainability of our profession, and we look forward to shaping and helping to contribute to these important initiatives. So thank you very much. We are very proud to be a part of this and really incredibly proud to be here on this historic day as we look forward. Great stuff. Thank you very much. <laughs>